several people have asked me to make another longer video of me doing a modem connection over voice over IP, uh, particularly because the first video uh, just got cut short and didn't record the full handshaking sounds. So we'll make a couple of calls here and see what we get. Uh, what I've got here is a US Robotics V.0 everything uh, 56K modem. It's currently flashed with uh, V.90 and V.92 firmware. Uh, the modem I used in the last video only had X2 firmware on it, which was a older proprietary uh, 56K protocol uh, that only existed in the mid 90s uh, before V.90 was uh, uh, standardized. Uh, prior to making this video, I didn't think 56K would work across a voice over IP connection, but it turns out it does. Um, I've made a few uh, connections here and got 53,000 uh, carrier speeds. It's not stable by any means, but hey, it, it does handshake for a little while anyway. Um, over here, I've got a Cisco ATA191 uh, analog telephone adapter. Basically what this is, is that just a internet phone jack, I guess, that we've got an ethernet cable coming in that connects to the internet a phone jack with a phone line that comes over here and connects to the modem. Uh, it connects up to a voice over IP uh, service provider that I subscribe to. Uh, and so when I make a call, they carry it across the internet and then ultimately out to the public switch telephone network where then it connects to the remote. And in this case, I'm dialing out into a uh, internet service provider in San Jose uh, just as a test. And then I've got it connected to my laptop here. I'm just running QModem as a quick and dirty terminal session. Uh, here's the ATI 7 screen of the modem that shows all the protocols that it supports. And so we'll get to it. Uh, first, we'll try V.90 and see what happens. No go. Okay, we'll try this one again. may not make it. Oh, okay. And this is just the login prompt of the ISPs, uh, RAS. So we'll go into the connection statistics and see what we got here. ATI6. Okay, so we are connected at 50,000 bits per second downstream with an upstream of 14.4K. Uh, we only had one retrain. That's probably the pause that we got there after dialing. Uh, we have V.42 bis uh, data compression. Uh, we have LAPM uh, error correction. Let's see how long this call lasts. Loop. Let's see. 
Okay, so we're 45 seconds in and we've actually up, uh, retrained up, up to 53,000 bits per second. That's kind of surprising, okay. All right, here we're at a minute. So we've had a whole lot of, uh, I forgot what blur stands for, basically I think bit errors. So it's, it's taking errors, but error correction is presumably taking care of it for us. Or if, if we were passing data over the line, I should say. Okay, now we've retrained down to 33.6. Yeah, that was kind of cool. All right, so we'll disconnect and we'll force it down to V.34 and see what happens. A-T-H-O. Thirty-four, and this uses the V.34 protocol, which has a maximum carrier speed of thirty-three thousand six hundred bits per second. This is what I was doing in the previous video, essentially. Here we're connected 33.6 again. And back into our statistics. T-I-6. All right, so we haven't had any retrains so far. We've had two timeouts. Not sure what that means. Again, we're using, or we've got uh, V.42 bis compression, uh, LAPM, uh, error correction, 336 uh, downstream, 288 upstream. So we had one retrain. I forget the difference. Uh, I think retrain is when it goes through the entire uh, handshake to try to figure out uh, how well or how well the audio is. Whereas a renegotiation is basically like a quick stepping down in speed, like if it has too many errors or whatnot. A renegotiation will cause the connection to completely pause for 30 seconds, a minute, just nothing passes over it. Whereas a renegotiation, or sorry, retrain, one or the other, is basically imperceivable. Maybe have like a second blip, but you really won't notice it. So we've been connected a minute and a half almost, and we're still still pretty solid. We'll let that sit for a minute. I'll show you my ATA configuration, what I've got here. Uh, so I'm using the G7.11 uh, ULAW codec, which is basically 64 kilobits of uh, 64 kilobits per second of data being used for this call. There's no compression whatsoever going on. Uh, uh, things like silent suppression and echo cancellation disabled. Uh, basically anything like the T.38 fax relay protocol, I've got all that stuff turned off. Any kind of like modem helpers I've got disabled because like that just seems to be the magic sauce to get this working well. I've got the uh, G7.29 uh, protocol completely disabled. Uh, modem line, I don't really know what that means, but it's on, so it seems to work pretty well. We'll come back over here and look at our call again. E so we're at two minutes. So it's still, it's pretty stable. We'll disconnect and do the call here because people love the sound.
All right, 33.6 again. We'll hang it. All right, hope you all enjoyed.